Hi, my name is Daniel Casey, and today we're going to be looking at some of the options in Darktable in producing or in processing an image. And particular, in particular, today we want to look at uh, using some of the some mask. And in doing and, and in using some of the mask, we're we're going to do a, a technique which is called dodge and burn of an image. Basically, dodge and burn means bringing some of the shadows slightly darker and bringing some of the highlights slightly higher uh, using mask. So let's get, uh, let's get right on it. So this is my original image, my raw file. And generally what I would do initially is I would look at um, the exposure. So the first module that I would apply is the exposure module. And let's darken this a little bit. So let's go to about, let's say 0.2. 17 just to darken the image a little bit so that would be for the exposure module now color calibration the white looks pretty well but we're going to maybe bring a little bit of the we're going to bring this down a little bit so we go here at approximately just by eye here we're going to be bring it like so so that would be done for the color calibration model module. Now let's sharpen the image a little bit. Here we're going to bring the sharpen here. We're going to bring this to two. Press two and then enter. And I'm going to bring the radius to, to three. So let's just press three and then enter. So that would be do it for sharpening the image. So if we look at the image in some of these areas it would have been slightly it would have been it would be slightly sharper so if i turn this on and off this is this is giving you just an example of how sharp the image has become now before i go any further i, I we should think about cropping this image i'd like to get rid of some of this stuff right in the in the bottom here so let's say a crop here And we're gonna go freehand for this one. And we're gonna bring this like that just to get rid of some of that portion of the image and just lower the upper part a little bit. And let's assume that that's pretty good. So we double click. So we have crop our image. Now the next module that we'll be using would be the filmic RGB module. So let's go in this particular module and we start with the scene tab. In the scene tab, we just wanna bring this, uh, the white points a little lower here, so maybe to something like this. And we gonna to wanna to get some of the black relative exposure to this level. So it gets a little bit more dynamic range into the image. We look at, we go into the look tab, increase the latitude a little bit, and also increase the contrast a little bit. Increasing the contrast, it's actually changing the slope here. And maybe that's a little bit much. So let's go down a little bit. All right. So the other module that I usually go right into after this is the color balance RGB. And here I only go in the master tab and only do some of the global stuff. So in the global vibrance, I'm gonna do um, 10%. In the chroma, um, there it's already rich in color. So I'm just gonna go five here. Global saturation, I'm gonna go 10. Here, these could be just starting values, and then you can just use a slider afterwards just to you know adjust by eye what you like or dislike uh, in terms of some of these values. And the and the perceptual brilliance grading, I'm not I'm gonna leave it to zero. This would sort of brighten the image a little bit, but I don't think uh, I want to do that at this stage. Now, the next thing that you want to do. In this particular image, if we want to do the um, dodge and burn, is we basically go into the exposure module and we set a new instance. So now we have a new instance of the exposure module, and we want to go into the in, into the ma into the mask uh, the masker here. 
and in the in this particular case, just a second right here. I'm so so the the mask. I'm going to use sort of this pat mask. Okay, so using the pat mask, I'm going to use click on it, and I'm just going to select the highlights here like this, like so. And once that you're almost done, you um, you right click. So that's the first one. Okay, you're going to use the same one here. Do another one. And right click to finish. Going to do a third one on top of this rock. Click and then right click and it's done. And you could do one here potentially and one there, but let's do just one up here. To bring some of these highlights here and then to finish off, right click. So if you want to see the, these masks, you can press here and you show and it shows you some of the masks. You can feather some of these masks, basically bringing uh, softer the, the transition by doing like so. Okay, so this is not bad. Now, because these are, I want to bring these highlights a little wider or the lighter, so to speak. So I'm going to press on this one here. I'm going to press on this icon here so that I don't see my mask path anymore. And I'm going to go directly in the exposure module and I'm going to increase the exposure here of some of these values. It's maybe a bit much. And if you're if you want to fine tune your right click here, and you can fine tune by using this here. And you need to, your computer to be waiting a little bit so that it works. So we've increased it by 0. Uh, 0.73 AV. Now, if we want to do the same thing with some of the darker area, then we go back into the the exposure module which is here, and we do another instance, another new instance. This would be exposure two, which would be the, um, the dark area. So we go back into the mask, pat mask, and let's say that we want to uh, maybe select the dark area, which is here, which is already pretty dark, but, and right click to finish that. That's the first pat. This could be a second path. And because some of these areas are already slightly dark, we may not go too much on this. Let's say that we want to bring something at the bottom here. Now, if you want to do a hard edge, such as this one here, what you do is you press Control and then click. And this does a hard edge. And you come back here and then you right click and that finishes up that one. Uh, let's say that we bring one here on this rock. So we go in the, into another pad here and we just do this here. And right click to complete. So this is our pad that we wanted to sort of darken the image. If we click on this icon here, it shows us the mask. And if we want to look at the feathering radius, we can do so like this and it's soften the, the edges here, maybe a little bit more. It's not bad. So if we turn off the mask, turn off the pad, and we go directly into the exposure here. And in this case, we would darken these areas of the, of the image. So that's too much.
So let's say that we would do like minus 0.3 EV, for instance. So this really sort of brings out and brings some of the dynamic range into some of your image. And uh, it, it basically gives a really good sense of, of depth in some of your image. So basically, that's how you do uh, dodge and burn using Darktable. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this was useful.